Hello everyone, Tobungari Adekola is my host. So in this short video, I'll be taking you through correct ECG electrode position. So I'll be starting with the standard 12 lead ECG. For standard 12 lead ECG, we use 10 electrodes to generate 12 leads. And the 10 electrodes include 4 limb electrodes and 6 recordian electrodes. The 4 limb electrodes are the right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Then we have 6 recordian. That's the chest. Those are the chest electrodes. We have V1 to V6, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. For the right arm, you can use any part of the right arm starting from the wrist. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be using just to below the clavicle of the right arm. So these are electrodes just below the clavicle here for the right arm. Then for the left arm, I'll do the same just below the clavicle. I've seen people putting it above the clavicle, that's wrong. You try and place it a little below the clavicle to avoid interference. Then for the right leg, I'll be using right lower quadrant of the abdomen. You can actually use the handle or any part of the leg. Just avoid putting prominence and maybe too much muscle mass. So for the left leg, I'll be using left lower quadrant as well of the abdomen. So that's it for the limb electrodes. Then for the chest electrodes, for the V1, V1 must be on the right sternal edge of the fourth intercostal space. Right sternal edge of the fourth intercostal space. So how do you locate your fourth intercostal space? Okay, this is the sternum. So locating your fourth intercostal space, there are different schools of thought, but I prefer you moving from the standard notch, this is standard notch, there is a notch here. Sorry, okay, there is a notch here. So, this standard notch, moving down from this standard notch, there is a slight elevation here, that's the man here for angle of lead. So, you just sliding a little down from the man you are into the second intercostal space, so you can continue your palpation from that. Just locate your manogram, the angle of lead here. Little elevation from a little elevation here, that's the angle of lead. You slide down directly beneath it is the second intercostal space. So you can continue your palpation from there. This is the third, this will be your third intercostal space, and this will be your fourth intercostal space on the right side. So that will be for your V1. V2 is on the left standard edge of the fourth intercostal space. You cannot just assume they are side by side and place it adjacent. You have to try and locate your intercostal space all over again. So you will do that again. Just drive down from the standard notch. There's an, a little bit of elevation here. That's the angle of the You slide down, you are into the second intercostal space. This is the third intercostal space. And this is the fourth intercostal space. So there, we put our V2 somewhere here. We skip V3 for now. So for V4, V4 will be on the mid clavicular line of the fifth intercostal space. Mid clavicular line of the fifth intercostal space. So we will start over there again, locating the manogram. This is second intercostal space, third. This is our fourth. This is our fifth intercostal space. This is the clavicle. This is the clavicle, mid clavicular line. So just imaginarily, Divide the, the clavicle into two, then you, you drive down here, yeah, then you are into the V4. I hope that is clear enough. So then V3 can be anywhere between V2 and V4. So for now, I just put it somewhere here. Yeah. For the V5, V5 is located on the anterior axillary line of the fifth intercostal space. This is the axilla. So the anterior axillary line of the fifth intercostal space, just on the same line with V4. Is that this is the anterior axillary line. So somewhere here, we put our V5. Then V6 is mid clavicular line. Sorry, mid axillary line of the fifth intercostal space. This is the axilla. So the mid, just middle of the hand instead of the axilla on the same line with V5. That's where your V6 is. 
Okay, so these are the 10 electrodes used in, 12, in standard 12 lead ECG. You have the right arm, left arm, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, then the right leg and the left leg. So all you need to do now is to connect your cable appropriately to the electrodes, then you are good to go.